Hi everybody, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal and what I want to talk about today is uh, I'll do a little uh, demonstration on a rotator cuff evaluation. Talk about how to specifically identify the infraspinatus anteriores minor and um, also uh, what I want to talk about is that not everybody needs to have a rotator cuff repair and uh, with Mr. Maynard here, he's a classic example. I had seen him about 15 years ago for some shoulder pain. He was not responding to conservative treatment, had obvious signs of a rotator cuff tear. Um, it was decided at the time that he could do well with an injection and continue to function well and he continued to do that and he's very functional to this day. So what we're going to do is go through some motion and then I'll do some manual muscle testing and you'll see how we can really isolate which muscle of the rotator cuff this is. So could I ask you to lift your arms straight up overhead first, which is good. The problem is on the left side and back down. Can you lift your arms up to the side like this and bring them up over the top? Can you bring them down behind your head? Good. And back down. Now can you reach up behind your back? So he has really good motion there. Good. And we're going to bring the arm back down. So what I'm going to do is just kind of check, see how his flexion is doing as far as active strength. So I'm going to have you hold right there. Don't let me push it down. He gives me some nice resistance. I want you to bring the arm out to the side. Hold it right up. Nice resistance there. So his you know, deltoid supraspinatus, not too bad. Let's do an empty can test. Hold that arm right there. Don't let me push it down. Hold tight. Give me great resistance there. Now let's pull that hand up against your belly. Supraspinatus, hold there. So belly test, and then we're gonna do a bear hug, so I want you to hold right there, don't let me pull it. And he has nice resistance there. But let's check out his external rotation. So infraspinatus and teres minor. I want you to hold that arm right there. Don't let me push it in. You can see how the hand falls in a little bit. Now don't let me push it, and there's nothing there. Okay, really no resistance at all. And when you evaluate him, you can see that he has significant atrophy of his infraspinatus and teres minor muscles. So a very isolated external rotator tear. And um, as you can see, though, he's still very functional and very active and does whatever he wants to do and did not have to have surgery. He does have a little bit of arthritic crepitus in there, but that's not uncommon. Um, so not having a lot of pain in the shoulder, are you? No, okay, great. So um, if you have any questions about this or um, you know, you want to like this video, make sure that you do that on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe so you get more great videos like this. If you have any questions, contact me at paul at orthoevalpal.com. Be more than happy to answer any questions about this. Or if you have a video that you'd like me to do, uh, let me know and I'll uh, put it up. Thanks.